need to learn where it's coming from and how to flow with it and be exposed to people who know how to pray in the spirit I thank you that the ears of the hearer shall be opened today that they may know that the Spirit of God has spoken to them in a special way we thank you that all these things are working together for your good and for our good and we shall fulfill the greater purposes of God in the earth in our day and there shall be much rejoicing in Jesus name amen the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words say I, I. Walk, with him walk with him by saying, by saying words. words it is our new reality the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words by saying words especially words that are in agreement with his words well what about other tongues and talk a little bit about other tongues today if I'm speaking in other tongues am I speaking speaking in agreement with his word yeah. yes because he's the one giving you those words mm -hmm. if he's giving you the words and you're saying them that's part of this new reality that we get to walk in mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 and let's look right at verse 4 and they were all filled say all filled, all yeah. filled. they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance mm -hmm. what spirit is this same spirit the holy ghost so you can literally say they began to speak as he gave them utterance or they began to speak as he now if i came up and i i, I came up to you and started speaking to you and you began to speak as i do are you here mm -hmm. what are you speaking you're speaking my same language we're speaking in agreement when they spoke as he gave them utterance they were speaking say they were speaking they were speaking the Holy Ghost wasn't speaking he was giving them the utterance and they spoke as he did are you seeing this yes. so they were speaking in his language so never lose sight of the fact that we are speaking in tongues to walk with and speak in agreement see because we walk in agreement with God by speaking when we're speaking in tongues we speak in tongues to walk in agreement with the Holy Ghost it's his idea you understand that so that brings me to three problems that I see in the body of Christ and as a minister I deal with on a regular basis one of which I'm gonna deal with tonight I'll address the other two well the number one problem and I'd say that this plagues maybe even half of the body of Christ is that people say that tongues is not for today or tongues has passed away I'm not gonna go down this trail because this has been covered so well by so many other people it's not necessary for me to do if you just don't believe that tongues is for today there's plenty like I said there's plenty other places you can go to read if you really wanted to believe but people that don't believe that what would you call those kind of people unbelievers at least in that they're non-believers they don't believe in it right so that's one a number one problem are they going to receive the Holy Ghost and begin speaking in tongues in agreement with him No. of course not they don't believe it they're unbelievers now what's curious to me is you have so many experts out there who literally frame their whole ministry and spend lots of times coming to websites like mine try to correct me you understand they know about speaking in tongues how it's passed away and they got all this all these what they think are scriptural proofs for it they think they're experts in the topic of speaking in tongues they're experts in not speaking with tongues That's right. you want an expert in speaking in tongues we'll talk about that a little bit you need to know somebody who uses the gift and operates in that gift and uses it every day you understand right. that's an expert right. but someone who's an expert in not speaking in tongues that's what they are mm -hmm. <sighs> so they come out of the woodwork anyway to correct me and they'll write really long things you're too late you're too late for me I'm, I'm sold on this I speak in tongues every day and I enjoy the benefits of it and besides this topic is really old it's really boring you're really old and boring if you're gonna try to go and tell people that tongues aren't for today that topic is worn out 
I just my ears just shut off I've gone down that trail so many times with people and try to correct them try to help them get them into belief so they can believe that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and they can speak words are you here yes. guess what happens to people that do believe that the Holy Ghost come came into the earth and they can speak in tongues they'll receive and begin speaking in tongues mm -hmm. anyway the Holy Ghost wants you to speak in tongues if you're new to this and you haven't heard this before the Holy Ghost wants you to speak in tongues there's plenty of I'll put a bunch of resources down below to help you out with that so that's the number one problem is people not believing that it's for them today you understand that yes. I hope I'm done with that yeah. number two which I've also covered very well in my estimation is for those who do believe say do believe do believe, do believe and try or at least attempt to receive the Holy Ghost and yet they don't speak they don't open their mouth and speak have you seen this before do you understand that they try to receive the Holy Ghost but they're waiting for him to say something out their mouth that's not the way it works you speak in faith now I've covered that in a message called how to receive the Holy Ghost and speak with other tongues today you go there and watch that and watch it and watch it and watch it until you get it are you here yes. that's number two first problem is people don't believe it's for today or the Holy Ghost passed away or something right number two is that they try to receive and they don't open their mouth and speak in faith those two topics are covered very well one topic that is not covered very well in fact I don't know if I've ever heard a sermon on it or a message on it which is what I'm going to talk about today is people who have received and began speaking and yet their language is very undeveloped you understand they'll just say the same little thing over and over again like they're going around the same rabbit trail for those who have received and did speak say have received, have received. Did, speak, did speak but their language is undeveloped or underdeveloped are you here yep. have you met people like that oh yeah there's a lot of them the most common complaint I hear is my tongues seem repetitious stammering stuttering gibberish I'm here to help if that's you I'd like to address this and I'm here to help and if you'll stay tuned to the end and stay connected here with this ministry you will have a free full flowing prayer language is this any good because there's so many people I mean I meet them all the time where they just you know they'll just say a little something diddy 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 over and over again and they're missing it mm -hmm. and if you listen I believe the Holy Ghost gave me this message to tell you I want you to know how to speak in tongues better more fluently and dare I say correctly would that be all right yes. the Holy Ghost says it's my desire for all my people to have a full complete beautiful well-developed prayer language to communicate with me in and through first Corinthians 14 verse 2 he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men but unto God for no man understands him how be it in the spirit he speaks mysteries or he communicates mysteries things unknown to other people but he's communicating with God that's my point here so it's his idea he chose this method his way of communicating with you and it's the number one channel that he communicates with you through you daily say daily. daily and you can grow in it so I'm here to sell you on a big beautiful full rich articulate well-developed prayer language but it takes knowledge I'm gonna tell you why why people are stuck on smallness and little bitty language things little language problems right I'm gonna walk you through it it takes knowledge understanding right some of these things that you're gonna hear today in this message and it takes faith to speak new words you understand every day when you open your mouth to speak you're still opening your mouth to speak in faith so it takes knowledge it takes faith and it takes experience to develop a full complete beautiful prayer language are you here mm -hmm. and part of experience is exposure say exposure. exposure some people aren't exposed to the real thing they need to be exposed to people 
say people, people people who are developed in a greater prayer language right Have you ever seen little kids that are you know raised in a house where their parents are very articulate and educated how's that child grow up talking they're the same way they're very articulate you go wow how you talk quite well for such a young child are you here why because it's so brilliant no because they're exposed to it right. say exposed to it exposure listen exposure is one of the best ways for you to to develop in the things of the spirit are you all right with this mm -hmm. well I'm no novice I'm not saying this stuff to, to toot my own horn but sometimes you got to toot your own horn I'm no novice in this speaking in tongues praying in tongues I know and have experienced the benefits the enormous benefits and I'm still experiencing many benefits of daily say daily daily, daily. daily praying in other tongues are you here yes. but I have something and I'm going to deliver it to you if you will listen and if you can hear you understand mm -hmm. again I've never heard a message on this to try to get people out of that rut it's always bugged me well Malcolm Gladwell I don't know if you've heard of him he's he's kind of a business writer he wrote a book called the outliers and in it he makes the statement that it takes about 10,000 hours to be a success in any field like if you were to practice something for 10,000 hours you would be one of the people at the top of whatever field you decided decided to be in right say 10,000 hours. 10, hours so master you to become an expert in any given topic I don't care what it is he says you need 10,000 hours when he goes on he says about 20 that'd be at 20 hours a week for 10 years do you suppose that you could be an expert in any topic if you did it 20 hours a week for 10 years yes, yes. well anyways I got filled with the Holy Ghost around 17 and I've been praying about an hour a day give or take sometimes more a lot more and maybe I'd skip a few days every once in a while I'm not gonna lie to you but the point is oh about an hour a day for 30 years are you here mm -hmm. say an hour, a day an hour a day for 30 years, for 30 years. well that's well over 10,000 hours so in a way I could say that I'm an expert at it I have experience at it and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the experience because I want you to hear what I'm saying because I have something I can give you if you will listen with the ears of your spirit well way way back say way way back in the way way back machine when I got filled with the Holy Ghost I remember listening to Gloria Copeland on TV back in the day there wasn't a lot of people on TV she was one and very few people that would get on the TV and talk about being filled with the Holy Ghost or speaking in other tongues well she talked about being filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues and I did what she said I went up in my room you know and I prayed and I said Holy Ghost I receive you and as I did I began to speak you understand mm -hmm. again not the point of this message but she also said during the, those series of messages that the Holy Ghost moved upon her to pray an hour a day and at first she was like an hour a day in other tongues that seems excessive but as she did it and committed to it she says by praying in tongues an hour a day her life completely changed say her life, her life. Completely, changed. completely changed well I started doing the same thing way back then over 30 years ago well in 1987 this is all right in 1987 and 1988 I went to Rama Rama Bible training training center in Tulsa Oklahoma Kenneth Hagen school Kenneth E Hagen's at the end of school because they would have school in the morning and then in the afternoon they had what they called prayer school say prayer school, prayer school. and for two years I went faithfully to prayer school and what prayer school was was you had you had the leaders of that class one of whom, whom was uh, Patsy Bierman her last name is Patsy Caminetti now again I'll put a link down below she's still going but at that time Patsy Cam Patsy Bierman was Kenneth Hagen's right-hand person in fact she led the prayer school and the healing center and she traveled with him all over the place 
well daily we would get to prayer school and what prayer school was is they would teach a little bit about prayer or whatever we were talking about that day and then we would pray in tongues they would get up with the microphone and they'd kneel down next to their chair and they would pray in tongues for sometimes like two hours say two hours, two hours. yeah two hours praying in tongues and I'd hear her tongues you see what's going on here I would hear her tongues and I would pray in the spirit mm -hmm. and as I'm hearing her tongues and praying in the spirit I'd often match my tongues to what I was hearing from her and we'd all get into this flow say flow, flow. and I learned listen I learned how to flow with what the Holy Ghost was doing in that meeting mm -hmm. by praying in other tongues are you getting this with the leader of Kenneth Hagin school now it wasn't just Patsy who would lead that class every once in a while Keith Moore would show up I don't know if you know who Keith Moore is a lot of people out there online would know he's become quite famous these days but back then it was the Keith Moore before he became Keith Moore and then every once in a while Kenneth E Hagin himself would show up and we do the same thing and we would pray are you here yes. what am I, what's happening to me I'm being exposed to people who know how to pray in the Spirit and my language was being developed as I was able to match it same as the little kid you understand same as the little kid who when they when they hear a word what do they what does the child do the kid who's just learning to talk and they hear you say something they repeat it do they repeat it well not usually at first gamma right gampa so what did you do when they said that slap them and say you shut up until you get it straight kid no they kept saying it there's nobody that walks around saying gamma and gampa anymore they figured it out how'd they figure it out by use and by exposure and by training their ear to hear what was the real deal well often I get this online and I get it in person sometimes but people will say your tongues when you're speaking in tongues they hear me speaking in tongues they go your tongues sound an awful lot like Kenneth Hagin's tongues and that's no accident because I was exposed to him and I learned how to flow in the way that he flows you understand and I still do today because what I learned I'm just I'm just adding to it's no accident I put the time in I'm telling you there was you know uh, I think at the time there was 14 to 1500 people at Rama when I was there in 1987 and 1988 and you went to prayer school and there'd be maybe sometimes 25 or 50 people and if the word got out you know that Kenneth Hagin was gonna be there then you know like 150 people would show up but the people that were there every day putting the time in say putting the time in, put the time in. I put the time in and I learned how to hook up so I had exposure to people who were well developed in a prayer language my point is that is no small benefit you've heard of people in the business world they say oh the best thing you could have is a mentor why would you have a mentor somebody has been through it before and they can hold your hand and walk you through it right. you understand you don't have to learn everything yourself but it's no small benefit that I've had exposure to people exposure that a lot of people lack if you took a child that had a little bitty language and you put them on a desert island I guess you could add some monkeys into the equation if you want how are they gonna talk they're not their language is not gonna develop they're not gonna know how to communicate remember we're communicating say communicating communicating, communicating with the Holy Ghost I don't know about you but and for me it took a while even for Olivia when she grew up you know and from that age to to where she uh, when she was just a baby you know ah, and then then she grew up to where she could start communicating I really enjoyed when they she started being able to communicate with me you understand yes. I get the cute baby thing <laughs> but there's only so much of that hand it to somebody else that wants to hold a cute baby you go to church everybody wants to hold a cute baby isn't that right yes. but you want to talk to a cute baby what do you do what do you do when you talk to a cute baby you know that's what most people's prayer language sounds like why because they haven't developed it they haven't thought that they needed to develop it 
they thought that's what God gave me no you need to learn where it's coming from and how to flow with it and be exposed to people who know how to pray in the spirit and at the end of this we're gonna pray and I, I was telling people here that we're gonna pray for a good five minutes what do you mean five minutes I remember dad Hagen used to say watch and pray does the Bible say that watch and pray so you're gonna set your watch you're gonna pray <laughs> I've had mentors say he's had mentors. had mentors and I would give them credit for walking us through many of the places that we we are today you understand I've had mentors now I'm gonna be your mentor and if you will stay with me you will have a strong clear beautiful well-developed and articulate prayer language I guarantee it nobody who continues with me is going to stay in that limited prayer language and you hear that if you heard that you can have it but it takes growth it takes time it takes development and it takes exposure do you know it matters who you're exposed to as to what you believe and can receive mm -hmm. the anointing that's on them will come on you and you can walk in it is this good yes. part of that growth that time that development means education learning about it which i'm talking about today exposure being exposed to it you can hear you can hear what's happening say you can hear, can hear. what's happening and then exercising how do children grow up education exercise development and exposure mm -hmm. you're not born an old baby right you're born into a kingdom and you start to learn things it's the same thing when you get the prayer language oh yeah but I know so and so they got this language and it was it was very developed and was very fluent that's not always the case and it's most likely not the case for you or you wouldn't be listening to this message you understand and it's not the case for so many people that I'm preaching this message for but just because it didn't happen to you that way and I guarantee you a lot of those people aren't even doing it anymore are you here yes. I'm showing you the way I'm gonna walk you through it besides we're not talking about so-and-so who got this magnificent fluent complete language when they began speaking in tongues we're talking about you right mm -hmm. so let's look at a couple of scriptures that talk about growing up from a child we know that uh, Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 says train up a child in the way they should go I'm just telling you that when you begin to speak with other tongues it's the beginning and you're you're looked at as part of just being in that childhood stage of functioning in the gift mm -hmm. Does this make sense yes. so you need exposure to new tastes you ever do that with a, a kid here eat this if it's something that children don't generally like what happens they spit it out they don't like it in fact it takes a while for even young adults taste buds buds to change and all of a sudden they like it they didn't like that before but now they really love it can't get enough of, are you here yes. what happened growth time development and exposure say exposure that's really what I'm trying to get to today because exposure is how you can change into the thing you're exposed to first mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 3 verse 1 and I brethren could not speak say speak speak, speak unto you as unto spiritual but as unto carnal even as unto babes in Christ why would he connect those two together couldn't speak unto you as spiritual but as unto a baby because it took time to become spiritual right. to grow up you see the word babes there mm -hmm. that's my point there's a need for maturity if your tongues are in the infantile state and that's okay is it okay for someone to be a baby or do you go to the nursery at the hospital and yell at those babies <laughs> stop being a baby no it's okay but it would be wrong for them to stay there right. and where do most people stay we know they stay in babyhood and here's part of what Paul's saying I couldn't speak to you as unto spiritual but as unto carnal even as unto babes 
are you here go to chapter 2 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 6 how be it we speak wisdom among those that are perfect and if you have other translations besides the King James that word perfect is translated mature later he says they were like acting like babies here it says we can speak with they speak speak, speak wisdom among those that are mature right. are you seeing the difference yes. one's babe the other one's mature verse 7 but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery do you recall that other verse that we first read what are we doing we're speaking he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto man but unto God how be it in the spirit he speaks mysteries mm -hmm. he's talking about speaking in tongues here he's talking about being mature or being a baby in your tongues which things also we speak not in words that man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches things the Holy Ghost teaches say things the Holy Ghost teaches the Holy Ghost teaches. comparing spiritual things with spiritual comparing the spiritual thing or the spiritual word with the spiritual thing or comparing the spiritual thing with the correct corresponding spiritual word that's what the Amplified Bible says here it says the Holy Ghost is going to teach you to compare listen this is your way out the Holy Ghost is going to teach you how to compare the spiritual thing with the correct spiritual word how are you gonna do that well exposure through training through understanding you understand and you're gonna to have to get sensitive to the Holy Ghost to be able to say the right spiritual word with the spiritual thing that he's given you so many babies start out with gibberish but they learn to sound out different things and I think in fact I know this is where a lot of people are missing it at the time because there was a great anointing or something was going on they were in, they were they were inspired to open their mouth and say somebody probably taught them correctly you got to open your mouth and speak but then from that point on something blocked them they were unwilling or didn't want to step out in faith to say anything else I'm comfortable back here with you've heard that before right just could be any derivative of that kind of thing and well no wonder you don't want to pray for two hours right. nobody wants to do that for two hours but you got to get out of that rut by learning how to say say say, say. and speak and articulate the things that the Holy Ghost is giving you right. just like you did at the beginning you're gonna to have to open your mouth and say in faith say say in faith say something else so number one you need to slow down say slow down, slow down and articulate slow down and articulate the thing he did give you mm -hmm. say slow down, slow down and, articulate and articulate the thing, the thing he, did he did give you I'm not saying he didn't give you that you need to slow down and articulate you know it's a lot like you know you ever have a little kid so excited they come up and they just have their tongue and you can't even understand. well slow down what do you say to them slow down. slow down and let me know what you're saying you understand because when you slow down you become intentional listen you become intentional of in speaking the thing that you're saying you're not just trying to let it uh, blah, 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 blah. you're gonna you're gonna slow down and intentionally say those words and those syllables and the object here is to match the syllable with the thing that he's giving you to say so in order to do this it helps in no small measure to know where those tongues originate can you understand that go to John John chapter 7 verse verse 38 he that believes on me as the scriptures have said out of his mind shall flow rivers of living water yeah. is that what it said no. from out here somewhere they'll flow a river of living water no. where does it say out of his belly or his innermost being shall flow a river of living water 
so it helps in no small measure to know where those words are going to come from because then you can listen and begin to articulate them mm -hmm. you're gonna slow down and you're going to articulate those words first thing you know and need to know is that he's coming out of your inner man that's why I said your belly you know that your belly is not your mind right, right. I hope you know that say my belly, my belly. is not my mind my mind is not my belly they're two completely different spaces and so if you're up here trying to listen think think what I'm gonna say next you're missing it you need to look down on the inside that's where he resides on the inside out of your belly shall flow not the mind and not from outside it's not coming from outside but this is also learned by experience and exposure are you getting this yes. once you've slown yourself down now remember this this message isn't for everybody it's not for people who want to sit here and criticize and say tongues have passed away you're trying to teach people to speak in other tongues no I'm trying to get people to be able to have a developed well-developed full and beautiful prayer language you understand that comes out of your innermost being where the Holy Ghost is mm -hmm. right so this message isn't for those people who just want to criticize people that speak in other tongues this message for people who have already received say have already received, have already received but are still their language is undeveloped like a small child they need to learn to enunciate say enunciate, enunciate. you're gonna take the words that you do have and you're gonna slow them down say slow them down yeah. and enunciate them do you know I can pray in tongues as slow as I want to do you know I could talk my whole message like this and it would drive you nuts I'm the one in control of the words that I say I am the one that is in control of the words I say in other tongues and if I don't slow down I'm not going to be able to frame them the right way that the Holy Ghost is giving me to frame them and many times I don't say it the right way the first time I have to say it again in a little bit different way mm -hmm. you understand Gampa becomes grandpa so anyway you need to slow down and speak clearly but you're gonna do it in faith say in faith. in faith that's how you got filled you began to speak in faith are you here mm -hmm. if you aren't here and you didn't get that then you didn't receive anyway but if you're speaking in faith now you're gonna slow it down right slow it down and begin to speak in faith and don't be afraid to say a new something a new phrase yeah but I've been saying dig it dig it dig it for so long slow it down he will continue to give you it's a stream the flowing stream out of your belly mm -hmm. just like at the beginning begin to speak a new sound a new syllable a new phrase you ever find yourself around people that are just learning how to read and they come up to a word and they they just start to sound what do you say sound it out mm -hmm. sound it out do you yell at them and say oh you'll never learn to read and throw the book down storm off no you have to sound it out mm -hmm. are they fast readers nope. no they're very slow does the Bible equate those that are that just coming into these things as a baby yes. as someone who's young yes and it takes time you have to, through exposure through development and through use you can develop these things you're not going to have somebody's profound language just dropped on you I'm sorry well that's what I'm waiting for that's what need. then you may just wait for the rest of your life and never have it mm -hmm. but if you do what I'm telling you to you will have a full complete beautiful well-developed and articulate prayer language to communicate with the Holy Ghost every single day are you getting this yes. you break the repetition <laughs> all I say is this and <laughs> slow down now articulate that thing you have and then step out in faith again just like you did at the beginning 
every time that I wake up in the morning I have to speak in other tongues I'm just very used to it now but you still have to speak in faith as he and maybe the first word is nothing the second word isn't and I'm telling you as you get as you get tuned in are you here yes. you get better at it you get developed at it I challenge you to say the wrong thing say the wrong thing in faith will get you going in the right direction you've heard the analogy of a car is hard to turn around if it's not moving right mm -hmm. but don't be afraid to say something wrong God's not gonna spank you over it say the wrong thing almost right until you get it right you learn how to say it right mm -hmm. oftentimes I'll, I'll know there's a word it didn't come out right say it didn't come out right, it didn't come out right. I said a word and it didn't come out right so what did I do I gave up I quit took my ball and went home no I said it again mm -hmm. and I said it again a little bit differently mm -hmm. I said it again with a different accent on a different part of the syllable are you here that's practice you learn to match the word with the unction that he's giving you this is how it's done learn to match the word with the unction that he's giving you this is how it's done this is coming from someone who knows I've been speaking in tongues for 30 plus years the way you do it is by matching the word with the unction that he's giving you and you get developed in it and you get better at it first Corinthians chapter 2 let's look right at verse 4 and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God my point here is that Paul's preaching and his speaking was not just in words but he demonstrated it say demonstrated it demonstrated. now this this message isn't for the doubters the people the unbelievers who don't believe in speaking in tongues this message really isn't even for people who who do believe in the Holy Ghost and have yet to receive that's another message this message is for people who have an undeveloped prayer language and they want to develop it are you getting this yes. and because I've spoken on it and I've used the scriptures and I've tried to yield to the anointing as much as possible and what you have what I've given out is what you needed and now you just need to begin to be exposed to those who speak well in other tongues and so we're gonna pray for the next five minutes are you here yes we're gonna watch and pray right watch and pray the next five minutes we are going to pray in the spirit in other tongues Holy Ghost I thank you for the ability to, to walk with you and communicate with you in other tongues and now we just lift up our voice and we begin to speak forth those communications with you and to speak your will and plan into the earth fretoza madas uncozo ebe tusk Blegendo cook spedentai, non coast a chest to bab bravido, a good don bar brek tox semenin, loosed le pebe du chetaka, zon lombron jogo bagaski, zonde breach le cado less the facade, noon to gain jingba, lostuch cobo bravation sign, nando gogomba, a kita le do, a prohist nongia, and des juts to provuch. Kloga ne benge snain sav, loba vedihisti bavanda, nando, stage a gon pag de ek, le kito kolot, commanda kazina, a mende, bruge, old zubalabrahe, a kuda pedeja gag zig zoda, a dujame, nonka tanjong, the bakia kalaste, jepte, bova balas de dis de douche, a loser mong bega, and then zomanuna, and te bro jibala gedich de dos a breve de gig na manglang grun jun to bla vist bas. Jedebot bar vedenis, a kuto de mentale. Nando brezi de mangetto kalik a panja, a brezojo mana fede tido, a logos, a ligos, a liclinio, nans jibia, a grujo do babev de best de dos de non de gulis de chavis. Saba don deng du jungon bang de. Look to my kadinga galama de kina sanata. I'm brovene de bini a bloom draku. A su jon blick a feed, borach de beble utabra gain sapana. A lega on grown jingaman de gagli gedende bon su. 
Ed in che de bada, e le gegio, e lo custio, a brejin zon schpak nden gluk ngleig gleg ndug mang tai ebe di bist boz nand bend vino. E ne mane dinge, ono mono danga, e le pongo soto go bede gehiti de bahas nane nene nista. Shobo bel tust o lubu bele gigion bangan zang se. Subito pole per fiddle be hiki blahakia. Long cobra host to Kazang Zang Zagulta the Pleki Ikunum Akanukunogoho. O brosho, a ziba, a sugar bohobole to he. Kust, a bridge on donga mazigangun qua, satai taili a bell breed in damasan. Nando gul ger gigindaigin guang ta, a kitchen hat in the gaglias. Es boj, es baj, es bij. Feet mondi a gongli and can crying. Ed è di bello di mombri in grac in gigni in gigni in dabli e in crosto. Ed è di boh, a burba, a fra de de boh, di boh, di boh, di boh, di boh, di boh. Che ne mondo bada gide, e le gong di boh, di gigno. O brosh di poz vege gab di ec, che gigni in gai e in guglio come tan. Nendo sho zo boh bleb di di boh vab di et in dag sista dac sost. Clust, a clost, a cleaz di gac jaga, a cleoz di gog giga. A class de gagzito bre et de bed bull bar berry, a bull bar diri, a four bar diri, lombroso maga de gana genengli gmong dun poge, diga, a rogo stoch peg, fed fod fili ki ki kai kukola taiki toko, chaki kabaki tuku makatana dana dame. E benam don bamba libim brabama, e digo la pogre kiki digis babsa, ha 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 ha, goat gong de ginga lugung glong cray. Van dam resisi est delasio corosios, o braccio tel breg ni bing de bong, an am doba le fint fratans, e qui de gibara gununglo, roch bedun, roch bedun, roch bedun, de beren de bulun de banante, ha ha ha. Keeb koob de keebi gak de bohok, nek, nek, nak, nekinig, nekingong tong de kak. Da dob jibidi bindigigli gagang grog dog spok, e klis de kaj gob des de brejje. Manda dem alone to bobble dobo. A manda dem alone to bomba den de vaba. A men dam balo bomba legain de bednangit dan de dodo dodo. Ha 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 ha. Stidi di bobble de bobre. Es de bab site frek tu behek gada. A dig it in de bo. A frot ba, a loot, a blade, a bud, a blood, a vid, a post, bax gaha. Gubro to mok mak giri. Dengog legain de banaganas. Gente, blade, a bud ob, a bad, a bed, 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 a Ha 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 ha! Lebro si se sad di gingi di nemen gan glun glon kining kakana kanunga stakas a karabak jigemong gbunga brang guan kanga a glingan glung stumong kabe di dij di bob di bad brave di di bol baba fraba di di bish fraba di di bish fraba di di bol stuff skibaraga di bij gbog brave di bed di brio gudo di bad brave te flegadis flogadast flegadis. Holy Ghost, we thank you. We thank you for the ability to speak in agreement with you, and I thank you that you've moved upon people that were out there in the audience and online and developing their great, their prayer language to become a great and beautiful and wonderful and well-developed and a full language to communicate with you in. We thank you for it, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.